up everybody, Mike here, patbangers.com, today with a new tutorial and it's all about MP3 export from Native Instruments Machine or Ableton Live or any other software because we all know Machine and Live doesn't have any MP3 export function built in. So we're gonna create our own and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, what we need to achieve it is a little tool called Folder Actions. You can download it on folderactions.com. Pretty simple website, pretty simple tool. It's free for your personal use. If you make some money with your beats, please consider buying the commercial license, which is only 30 bucks and compared to the time you save, it's a really fair price. So just go ahead, download the software, click through the installer routine. There's nothing to worry about, just install it and you're good to go. Before we jump right into the app, we need a little bit of setup. So the first thing to do um, is to create a new folder. You can put the folder wherever you want. You can also use your standard machine or live folder, your temp folder, whatever it is. I just um, just make sure you put these folder into your favorites on your sidebar so you have easy access from the safe dialogues in your software. So I'm gonna create a new folder right here and I call it mp3 converter. I just drag it into my favorites and that's it. Next we go into the application which uh, is here in your systems tray. Double click it, just add your folder, the folder you just created which is computer C drive mp3 converter and click on. Now what it does is, you still export your beats as a WAV file into this folder and Folder Actions now watches this folder and as soon as a new file comes into the folder you can uh, do some actions right here, the actions on the right side. And we want to convert it to mp3 so we choose convert audio files and convert audio to mp3 quality I choose best. Save free cell 2, so you can either say uh, put it in a subfolder and give it a name, for example, Beats MP3. It would create that folder for you, or what I prefer is I want um, I want folder actions to move my file into my Dropbox. So I'm going down here, choose my Dropbox, folder Beats. And I also want folder actions to delete the WAV file after it's processed. And that's it. Simple as that. Save, close, and now we give it a little test. I'm on a virtual machine right here, so I don't have machine or live installed or any other software, so I just prepared a WAV file right here. But your workflow would be you, could, you just go to your export function, choose your MP3 converter. And let it export. Once the WAV file is comes into that folder, folder, uh, folder actions is watching this folder, converts it, and puts it in my Dropbox. Here, beats. And as you can see, I don't know why it's not deleting the file here. Gonna do it one more time so you see it's really working. Copy. Here's my file. And it deletes the file. And that's it. So we just created our own MP3 converter. It runs in the background. Folder Actions is very light, doesn't need much resources on your computer. And I think it's just a great advantage. So I hope you guys like this. Let me know if you have any questions. Put it in the comments. That's it for me so far. Take care. Peace.